this is an introduction to the Colorburst Overdrive RIP. What a RIP is, it's a piece of software that interprets what's in the header of files to be printed. So it's things like postscript fonts, it reads pantones and spot colors out of files uh, to handshake to make sure they hit color at the printer, uh, the ability to proof and make custom calibrations, nest which means basically setting up a lot of images to be printed all at one time to save money and material. And special tools such as adding cut marks on your prints for cutting later and or you can also do tiling. So why choose the Colorburst Overdrive RIP? First, it's very easy to use in comparison to other RIPs out there. It uses the manufacturer driver for proprietary screening and dithering such as what you find on the Epson uh, printers. It loads the manufacturer paper and material calibration profiles. When the manufacturer updates their printer driver with the OS, Overdrive continues working. It has a print spooler and the ability to set up network hot folders for printing. And finally, it brings to the table the ability to print and proof where you can meet or exceed the gray call proofing standards. To overview the Overdrive program, there are five main areas with one main control ribbon at the top left. Assuming that you first loaded the driver in the OS, you can point and grab that printer in Colorburst, which will show up in a list at the top left with the according calibrations to the right. Printer settings like the general settings, the layout area, cut marks, job titles, the ICC area, which is your inputs and output profiles and the ability to simulate other printers. This is also where you'd load a custom uh, output profile for your printer if you built one. Next is the tab where you would manage your spot colors and uh, deal with Pantone. Also note that you could also, by the numbers, give it a spot color and name and save it. And finally, the nesting area where you could preview a layout before you print it a uh, whole roll, for instance. So now closing the nesting window and going up you'll see we have an Epson 7900. I'm going to go over to the paper calibrations to the right and what you'll see is they're organized by uh, fine art, photo, proofing and such and what you'll find over to the right is the paper or material name with the DPI to the right and you'll see that uh, in this you'll see rural environment which means rural papers and at the bottom of the list we have a environment manager for custom calibrations and things that we uh, want or don't want on the list. So how to choose the right version of Colorburst? Well the versions are based on printer sizes. The first version is 13 to 17 inches, the second 13 to 24 inches, the third 13 to 44 inches, and the final the large 13 to 64 inch printer version. Next is are you Apple or PC? Besides a PC Apple overdrive there's also a PC Pro version of Colorburst. Besides the Apple PC Overdrive, there's also a PC-only Colorburst Pro. This RIP version does not use the manufacturer's driver for screening and is primarily designed for larger printers. It does, however, come with the profiling software for custom material calibration, which is an add-on in Overdrive. No matter what flavor of the RIP, though, that you use, the calibration process is the same, and down in the lower left-hand corner, you'll see where there's a linearization on, ink limiting on, ICC correction on, and the files you can see right here for ink limiting, for linearization, and finally profiling with the ICC correction on, create the calibration you see to the right. So be aware if you need custom calibrations done inside your overdrive, uh, there's a profile bundle with uh, sensor available. Also, older users, please contact us about upgrade discounts and demos. So now let's go to RIP software tips. The larger your workflow, the more you should consider a desktop over a laptop to run Colorburst on your printer. Between connecting USB network or wireless network, uh, USB and Ethernet are the most reliable. Please shy away from wireless. If you happen to be purchasing a new large pre-series printer, you may want to think about a printer hard drive to help uh, with the workflow. Also, if your work is color critical, you may want to invest in a color calibrated monitor that is at least able to reproduce the input profile you plan to print with. And finally, the printing of PDF files. PDF files have become very popular. However, uh, PDF version 1.6 files carry all the appropriate header information for the RIP to use to print properly. So if you'd like to get further information, you can go to our website at www.aztec.com. You can go to the products, software, color burst area and or you can go to the bottom of the page and click the Colorburst uh, logo. If you'd like to purchase, you can go to our website, online stores in the upper right-hand corner, to purchase Overdrive. 
And if you have any questions or you want to contact us, you can contact us at mail at aztec.com or 949-770-8787.